This video is sponsored by Keeps. Hello, Mr. World's most painful stinging plant in the world. I see you're covered with a nice luxurious head of stinging painful hairs. I have a question for you. I know you're just a baby now, but what happens when you grow up and you lose all those luxurious stinging hairs on your head? Don't worry, little buddy. Two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. And if you were a human and I had a medical degree, I could help you with that. But with Keeps, you can get treatment in your own home and have all your information reviewed by a licensed medical doctor who will ship out your treatment right to your door every three months. Keeps is also affordable because it uses generic versions of medication that's already been FDA approved for hair loss treatment. Do you know what this plant and Keeps have in common? It takes four to six months to see improvement. Uh, so the sooner you start, the uh, more improvement you'll see and the more hair you'll be able to save. So if you're ready to take action, go to keeps.com slash backyard or click the link down below in the description to save 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash backyard. Today I found out there's a plant that holds the title the world's most painful plant. And I guess I kind of already knew that this would happen, but I didn't know exactly how bad this plant could be. Spoiler alert, its nickname is this suicide plant. Gimpy Gimpy, as it's called, is native to Australia, and just how bad is it? Well, let's ask the locals. Like being burned by hot acid and electrocuted at the same time. Did meth, got naked to skinny dip in a lake, fell into Gimpy Gimpy, two to three weeks for them to return to normal, pain continued for several months. Used a leaf as a toilet paper, ended up shooting himself. I'm going to touch this plant. We're gonna go touch a bunch of different plants to compare them to this plant. So first up is a native plant in Florida. It grows in a park nearby, so I think this would be a good place to start our adventure. We're in the jungle of Florida looking for a painful plant. How do you pronounce that? Cinderoscola stimuloris. Nidoscola serens far. Stimulosis. <laughs> first try! <laughs> All right, so this is it. We found it right here. You can see that the plant is covered in a bunch of little hairs, but these are actually needles and they're filled with a bunch of things like formic acid and histamine and when you get hit by the plant and the needles break inside of you it releases all that and it hurts and it itches. So I've got the leaf right here and you can see all of the little hairs on it. You can see that they're kind of soft. I can move them around with my finger. They won't stick into my finger but I, I guess I'm gonna put it on my arm. So I'm just gonna put it on like that. Slap it and see what happens. All right, who's next? Peter? I'm gonna pass. Peter? <laughs> Peter reluctantly agreed to test the plant and Will bravely took it head on. I'm William Osman and this is the world's most dangerous salad. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we doing this? Yes. Oh, yeah. Did you think you got it? Yeah, I got it, definitely. You can feel them like digging into you. <laughs> you can see it's getting a little red already. Already? Yeah. Yeah, that's not great. You You're getting that? welts. It doesn't, Dude. It doesn't oh. hurt, I mean. Oh. It kind of hurts, but it doesn't really hurt at all. I, mine's got just red dots. Yeah, I've got red dots too. You have more welts than me though. Mine's just a bump. Okay, so overall we would rate this plant a 2 out of 10. Peter says Split the mosquitoes apart. are worse than the plant. The finger rot gets a 2. Now let's move on to the fishtail palm. How's that? I ain't touching that. What is this? All right, so this is called the fishtail palm because this kind of looks like a fishtail, I guess. So I didn't know that this plant was poisonous until I was trimming it one time and the sap got on my skin and it started burning. And I heard that the berries are actually a lot worse than that. Are they edible? Oh no. <laughs> but what do you mean by no? no? I mean like, oh no, like they're they not would... edible. Like, what do you think it tastes like? Pain. Inside of this plant, there's a bunch of needles in the sap, like microscopic needles in the sap. And when they get on your skin, they go into your skin and they just start burning. And if you break it open and you look at the like liquid inside of the berries, you can actually see the little needles on the inside. If you hold it up to the light, it just kind of shimmers. But we're gonna take it inside and look at what it looks like under a microscope so you can really see the tiny little needles in here. I prepared a slide for the microscope and it can already see the little needles with my bare eyes. These needles are known as raphides and they're made from calcium oxalate, which is the same compound that kidney stones are made from. Can you see oh, that? it looks like fiberglass. Those are needles. There's still a little scientific debate whether the pain is caused purely from mechanical irritation of the crystals or if some of the plants lace them with a poison. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God, they're like Daggers. It's like what you see in a mesothelioma commercial. <laughs> now the real question is how much does it hurt and what does it feel like? So we applied a small amount to our arms and we were kind of underwhelmed at first until... Kind of starting to feel it. It, it just hurts. Like I feel like it's very uncomfortable. It just keeps kind of getting worse, doesn't it? It's like not pain, it's itch. It's annoying. It's, it's really like, annoying. It really, really, really itches, and I like don't know how to make it stop itching. Oh, it's itchy, I, dude, I, it itches. I, I really, I'm like scratching all oh. around it. I really want to scratch it. It doesn't hurt. Ah, oh, I want to itch it so bad. 
I feel like the water made it worse almost. Well, you it's, it's actually gotten worse. <laughs> it doesn't it's hurt. Pain? No, it doesn't hurt. It just it just started it just really itchy. Yeah, it, oh it itches. God. Mine itches right now. I'm like trying to stay out of the circle. I don't want to like make it worse. Oh, this is kind of maddening. Like so one out of ten. Ten being most painful. What, what would you say? It's probably like a four or five. Okay. Ten? Yeah. I would say it's a five because mm. it kind of like sneaks up and you yeah. don't know like when's it gonna if, stop. If you had your whole arm covered in this, you would be very much panicking right now. Overall, we would rate this plant a 4.5 out of 10 on the pain scale, and next up is Gimpy Gimpy, supposedly the world's most painful plant. Not only are we going to test how painful it is, but we're going to test out some myths about the plant too. This plant is known as the Gimpy Gimpy plant. So I got this plant from a collector as a tiny little seedling. After about six months, it's about this size, and I've been very careful to cut off all the extra flowers because I do not want more of these plants, trust me. The leaves on this plant are covered by thousands of silica hairs that break off and inject a neuro toxin like a syringe, and these peptides not only activate pain receptors, but they prevent them from turning off too. How bad is it gonna be? I would like rub your arm against it until you feel a, a spike. Oh, did you feel it? I felt the spike. All right, let me- Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, it immediately hurt. This is, it's like I got stung by a bee. Ooh, ooh, I, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it because I feel like if, if I got any more than this, it would be really bad. Whoa, it feels tight. Yeah, this is, dude, this is, this is awful. Oh my God, it's this like right- really bad. It's, look at this. Can you see these, this one? It's right over my blood vessel. Wow. Dude, this is really bad. It's, it's like, like, it's acidic like hand, hand sanitizer in an open wound. Yeah, it burns, but not like fire burn, like Ooh, acidic burn. Dude, I have, oh well, my dude, God. The, these two are nothing compared to this. How do we make it go? How do we make it stop? The first myth I wanted to test was to see if there was a way to make it better. And according to sources online, a dilute solution of hydrochloric acid would ease the pain and wax strips would help to remove the stinging hairs. I'm, no. not, I'm not feeling any relief. I'm feeling like it's actually making things worse. Unfortunately, the acid didn't work or we just didn't treat the area long enough. And we didn't have wax to try, but I don't think it would have worked anyway because the stings make your arms sweat so much that the tape wouldn't even stick. So it's not getting any better, but I've read multiple articles that say water and change in temperature makes it worse, so let's try that instead. All right, here we go. Yeah, oh yeah, it makes it worse. It definitely makes it worse. worse. No, I want control. Oh, 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 ow, 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 ow. It ow. makes it worse, it makes it I worse. I don't like this at ow. all. So water definitely makes it worse, but what about something cold? Oh, that's like a 10. That's a 10. That's a 10. Ah, oh, I'm pretty sure that that is like locally saturated for how much pain. That's a good way to put wow. it. I think it is. The only reason I'm not panicking right now is because I know that it's it's not dangerous. It's not like this is a burn. It's not like this is like some deadly chemical. It's just messing with your pain receptors. Yeah. Or else I would be kind of panicking. Because if you felt this much pain. For I would be very, very concerned. Yes. I don't know what I expected, but yes, water and changing temperature definitely made it worse. Another cool thing that I noticed is that if you use an infrared camera, you can totally see which arm was stung by the plant because it looks a lot hotter and you can actually feel the heat on your arm too. Now, is this plant really the most painful plant? I would say it's definitely way worse than the other two, but there's some pretty crazy plants out there. I imagine falling into a cactus is pretty bad. The manchineal tree is famous for inflicting burns and blisters, and contact with the sap of a giant hogweed will make your skin super sensitive to sunlight and give you extreme burns. Overall, though, I would give Gimpy Gimpy an 8 out of 10 on the pain scale. When you touch it, the pain is pretty instant. It's right away, and it peaks at about, like, a level 8. The best comparison I could come up with is each stinger feels like a fire ant. Sting. By the end of the day, I would say the pain is like a one or a two, and the next morning, the pain was pretty much non-existent. Unless, if you touched the area, got it wet or cold, the pain would instantly shoot up to like a level nine, which I would say is like a wasp sting or something, but it didn't stay there for long. It was kind of just like, ouch, and then it came right back down. This stage of hypersensitivity tapered off a little slower. After about a week, water and cold didn't really bother me anymore, but I could definitely still feel the needles in my arms for at least two months. It was kind of like a little fiberglass. It didn't really hurt, but it was just kind of annoying and sensitive. So overall, what, what did we learn from this video? 